Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is WA2BMB, Alex in Western Central New Jersey. And I'm uh, this is the third installment of the repairs I made to the UR 20, URM 25D. This is the power supply section. Right here is the new capacitors that I installed to uh, replace the old ones which were uh, which were shorted out or at least one of them had uh, spilled its guts all over the uh, all over the uh, unit so that's been uh, so everything's replaced and squared away it works just fine now just want to let you know the way it looked now if you use other capacitors uh, you could still use this basic setup a couple of terminal strips and your new capacitors and you wire them in according to the schematic I didn't walk you through it because that's self-evident I also went in and replaced all the capacitors there's eight capacitors in all that uh, make up the audio section and uh, I replaced all of them it's very easy to get into this unit here it's just a matter of removing eight uh, capacitors that I happen to have right here these are if not all of them uh, these are pretty much what they look like there were uh, five out of the eight leaked they were all leaking so essentially they went from being uh, capacitors uh, to resistors which is uh, not a good thing I'm gonna pause it a moment and show you the result of uh, my work okay we're back welcome to the third installment and here we are with the reading from the thousand Hertz or thousand cycles per second generator located in the uh, URM 25d as you see it's reading 997.2 nice looking sine wave signal as we come over here and switch it to the four and there once again you've got a nice sine wave signal let's hit the calibration and look how pretty that is so there you go how nice is that that's the way it should look and again I had to replace uh, eight capacitors on the audio board the audio board is not hard to uh, take apart it's four screws you, uh, you unscrew these the section from the uh, that has the tubes on it and take out all the other eight screws and it folds right out and you can tack on your uh, new capacitors onto the leads of the old ones and the whole thing takes maybe 20 minutes and uh, it's it's really not all that complicated um, just to clarify uh, how I found the original problem uh, the bad uh, solder uh, connection on the turret they have a uh, series of I think it's four connection connections that make contact with the with the current with the turret and what was happening was one of those connections comes off the top of the tuning uh, main tuning uh, capacitor and uh, that's the ground connection and somehow I think this thing was dropped pretty severely judging from the dense side of bang out of the case it jarred that loose so what was happening was it wasn't making a connection anymore the oscillator had all the operating voltages and everything else it needed ready to go but an oscillator won't work unless it's got a tuned circuit whether it's a crystal or a discrete components so what happened was the one common thing to all those bands is the ground and it was off so I had to reach way deep inside with a pencil type soldering iron to uh, redo that connection once that was uh, fixed the uh, the signal generator came back to life so now uh, it's been cleaned up the power supply has been worked on the uh, filters were changed out in the audio section and I just have to do a little calibrating now 
Uh, so I'm going to call the uh, the end of this project as far as you're concerned anyway I'm not going to take you through an alignment that's something that you could do it's not that big of a deal but uh, the main thing is uh, I was checking prices for these things on eBay and they want upwards of uh, anywhere from a hundred to uh, three hundred bucks for these things and like I say the last two I bought I paid twenty dollars for and they were not working the uh, the first one I bought that wasn't working uh, it was just as simple as changing out the final tube. I think it's a 6AG7. If I'm wrong in that, uh, in my memory, uh, whatever tube it was, is very common and, and not expensive to get. So once I did that and changed out the, cap the capacitors in the audio circuit, it was fine. So there you go. So that's it for the, uh, the last installment of the URM25D restoration. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. I hope this... Uh, this helps you and uh, have a great summer and please be careful uh, take care and we'll talk to you again soon this is WA2BMB saying bye bye for now